Hey guys, welcome to game two between Ninja Ob and Agistol. Agistol taking game one. Ninja Ob at the 12 o'clock location as the pink Terran. Bottom right hand corner, we have Agistol as the purple Zerg. Kind of a. Was that a swap in colors? I think it might have been a color swap. But this is going to be on Sylphid, three player map. Agistol. I like it when I can say things like that and I get proven right. <laughs> It's a good feeling as a commentator. It's the best feeling. It's like, ha ha ha. The thing I said happened. I'm wondering if Agistol is going to go for more of a heads up game this time, or if we're going to see more of the same. More maybe quick two hatch Hydra or two hatch Lurker, maybe a Hydra bus this time. Seems to have a lot of stuff up his sleeve. And again, I, I like it. I like it. Initially, I'm like, ah, it's a bit sloppy here and there, but I don't know. He, he pulls these games out. So call me a fan at this stage. Grabbing that gas to go ahead and do that extractor trick lets you get one more drone of supply out there. Actually not sure. I think this has become this has fallen out of favor. I don't know if it's more mineral efficient or not overall. Or how it plays into the double hatchery build more often where Zerg are trying to take their, their second hatchery on um, 11. But this is interesting. He is not building an Overlord first, and he is just going to go ahead and take an a, a hatchery on 10. And build his Overlord to follow. Huh. And is he going to do and doing another cancellation trick to ste sneak another drone out? Curious what the, the mining efficiency is on that. That obviously gets the hatchery up a little bit faster. The question is, is why? Why does he want that faster hatchery? Is he going to go for another very quick Zergling Flood? And I'm wondering if, if that is in fact the case, if he's just going to go for quick Zerglings on this map. This is a map that does not have a ramp. That natural expansion is in fact open. And here's the thing, Agisol, sorry, Ninja Ob walks in with this SCV. He might just assume that Overlord was there. Because this Overlord also going to the correct expansion, by the way. Still no scout thus far from Agistol. Spawning pool about halfway finished. Trying to deal with that SCV harass in the meantime. And the thing for most Terran is oftentimes you will play more defensively to start to respect those early game Zerglings. And we'll have to spot it again after off the amount of gas that's being grabbed here. This might be an indicator to Ninjo. Yeah, that's seeing that Overlord spawn right there is provoking him to come out and see that hatchery spawning a little bit sooner than later. You can almost see the wheels churning in his head. And we did, in fact, see... We do see a single drone still in gas. I'm wondering if that is just a mistake, or that's just a throw... Ninja Ob off. Zergling speed is being upgraded. That's six Zerglings moving across. It looks like they are trying, initially, trying to focus on that SCV. The SCV counter-engaging, taking that Zergling to half health. Ninjo, seeing that early hatchery, is plopping down his command center, which might be playing right into Ninja Ob's hands. Because he's continuing to produce Zerglings. Bunker being produced. Three Marines are there. But with a decent amount of harassment. Looks like two Zerglings being pushed off trying to deal with that SCV. With these Zerglings in position, if they flood around. Might be able to do a lot of stuff similar to game one. Here in this game too. Seven Zerglings waiting on the front. Speed is about to finish momentarily right as that command center is finishing. Ninja Ob realizing his opponent is a tricky one, trying to move up, but getting... Uh, I was going to say got denied, but instead, nope. That SCV is going to be able to make his way across, is going to be able to see perhaps a layer or something else being built. And actually doing some harassment on that drone. Zerglings diving in on the bunker. SCVs are there, but it's not enough. All the Marines take it out. And again, Agistol... Finding ways to win. Ninja Ob not... Wow. <laughs> dude. Yeah, dude is right. Ninja Ob saw it coming. Saw the Zerglings. And wasn't quite in position to blockade them out. That's got to be frustrating. Going into game three. This is turning into a quick set. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for listening.